So I've been playing around with this new sort of intro for Ask the Mead Maker. I'm not going to do that dumb old like, welcome to Ask the Mead Maker thing anymore. It's going to go like this. Ah, it's Ask the Mead Maker! That was way too intense. It was perfect. Welcome to Ask the Mead Maker, where I, Ricky the Mead Maker, answer your questions about mead making, mead brewing, mead drinking, and really any question you're willing to send me. This week, we're doing questions about questions that people get about our product. You'll figure it out. Mead's from Germany, right? Ireland, right? Ukraine, right? Africa, right? New Hampshire, right? Mine's from Colchester, Vermont. Actually, meat has been produced in almost every culture throughout history that had access to honey. What does Grunfell mean? The word Grunfell is, is a word of, of great meaning and depth, and it's not that you will ever learn, but there will be a day if you reflect and meditate on it, you will, you will know. Some call it an epiphany, others a revelation. Vermont is Old French for Green Mountain, and Grunfell is Old Norse for the same thing. I thought mead was sweet. Now, the sweetness of the final product is dependent on a lot of factors. Now, this is true for beer, wine, cider, mead. Attenuation, as you may have seen in some of my other videos, is a factor which describes what meads were all over the map because we didn't have highly efficient yeast strains. Here, we don't really like sweet meads, so what we use is a middling original gravity, which we measure as bricks because the federal government requires it. Sometimes it's sweet, all of our mead happens to be dry. So what is mead? Mead is just a fermented beverage made from honey, water, and yeast. Mead is just a fermented beverage made from honey, water, and yeast. Idiot. So wait, mead has yeast in it? I'm sorry, a basic understanding of what you consume is kind of required for being a human. Yeah, actually, all fermented beverages have yeast in them. Everyone else's meat is in prettier bottles. Somebody didn't watch enough 80s after-school specials. It's what's inside that counts. Well, we looked at different packaging options, and frankly, this was the most cost-effective, and we really wanted our product to be at an affordable price point for the consumer. Is it meat supposed to be for men or for women? I'm sorry, I, I couldn't hear you from the 19th century. Do we, do we still have beverages and foods that are only for one gender? Actually, I agree with what he just said. Wait, I, I heard it was called honey wine. There is a fantastic linguistic tradition. Sure, a lot of places do call it honey wine. Our product is not much like wine, so we use the term mead. So is it beer or is it wine? I swear my mother's grave, if I get this question one more time, I will choke the neck. Well, mead is mead, actually. It's like cider, it's cider. Beer is beer, wine is wine, sake is sake. Well, I hope you found that informative. Now all I have to do is send it over to Ricky with our word of the week. Ricky? Thank you, Ricky. This week's word is must. That is the name for a honey and water blend before it is fermented. It starts as a must and it ends up as mead. That is our word of the week and the end of our show. Please keep sending your questions and I'll answer them as soon as possible. Cheers.